Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a special Secret Santa uh, trade. Um, so I'll be going through the doll that I made and then at the end I'll go through the doll that I traded with uh, with Silverborn Designs on Facebook. Uh, so definitely stay tuned. So I'm starting off making the horns um, and I'm making this out of a um, flexible air dry clay that you can just find on Etsy. Just have a search of air dry clays uh, and it is quite light and it won't, it's not very fragile so it won't break or snap. Um, and I'm just making them off the head first and then attaching them with some of that tacky fabric glue that I use for everything else. <laughs> um, so the head that I'm using is a sculpture that I have um, sculpted, molded and cast in resin myself, um, so hence why it's white uh, and then um, you can just paint your design on top of that. So here's the horns that I've got so far. I'm going to set it up to dry so the horns dry evenly and then I'm not going to touch it until it is dry so it's about 24 hours. And then I'll be painting it with this Lumiere paint by Jacquard in hollow gold purple and I'm just doing the eyes in this colour because I wanted to have a sort of charcoal purple theme. So I'm going to do like a charcoal um, around the outside and then a purple underbelly. So I wanted to just do a couple little things to point back to the body colours itself. So I changed my mind about the paint job for the horns quite a few times throughout this process. Uh, I was initially going to have like purple underneath those little crease bits and then have a, a black um, horn under it so it shows the purple through it and then I changed my mind once I started to paint the black on and then I just changed my mind again once the black was on. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with doing the undertones first and I'm just going with a lighter grey just so it has a little bit of see-through underneath it and it just covers all the white area first and I'm just using um, just an acrylic chromacryl paint uh, and you can use any paint you want um, preferably water-based or acrylic so I do prime my resin pieces before I paint them with just a white paint that has a good tooth to it, uh, just so all of the paint can actually stick to the piece and it just uh, doesn't fall off. Because it does, it happens! Alright, so here's that first layer of grey paint down and while that is dried, I'm going to be doing the pupils first. Um, so just again, using that uh, dry brush technique that I do with all of my eyes uh, and just adding tiny bits of paint on to begin with and building up on layers. And while I've got that black paint out I'm just going to be uh, filling in the nostril area and the mouth area with a black paint and again it's just an acrylic paint. And now moving on to painting the horns and you can see I was trying to be careful around the purple areas and then um, halfway through this horn I just decided to paint it all black. So it was kind of a pointless activity uh, painting the purple layer on first because I just ended up painting over it anyway. And with this air dry clay you don't need to prime it because it's a different kind of material than um, resin so uh, it absorbs the paint pretty well and it stays on there uh, once it's dry um, so definitely no priming needed. So while I'm waiting for the horn paint to dry I'm just going to be going over the whole head with a black wash and it is a, a watered down black paint just so it runs into the crevices and stuff and gives it a little bit more dimension. So at this point I decided that I wanted the tips of the horns to sort of go from a um, strong purple and blend into the black at the bottom. Um, so I'm just going in with that same Lumia paint in that purple colour and just sort of blending in uh, that purple because it has a nice gold sheen to it so it adds just a little bit of a different um, look to it and it's a bit more mystical as well. And then just decided to add a little bit of sheen to just small areas of the dragon's face, like the nose and um, the under eye area. 
Now, I usually just go in with a couple of dots of paint on the eyes. It just gives it a bit more personality. Uh, and it is, again, acrylic paint. So once that's dry, we can add a gloss to it. Moving on to painting the feet and again these are the resin pieces that I've cast uh, from an original sculpture and really the same process as painting the head, just getting the paint on first. So I decided to go with um, some black nails and a black underfoot just so it matches with the horns. Okay, so we can put these aside to dry and moving on to the faux fur and I'm using a Mongolian faux fur in a charcoal colour uh, for the outside of the bodies and you can see that I have drawn on my patterns and I'm just going to cut it out using a small pair of scissors but just being careful to only cut the backing and not the actual pile of the fur. So for this little one, I'm doing a purple underbelly, so that means I have to do the underside of the legs in a charcoal colour, so there will be um, two separate pieces that I will sew together. And this is that same purple fur that I was talking about before, uh, it has a nice frosted tip, so uh, it adds a little cuteness to it. And um, you can see I have drawn the underbelly on it and without the legs, so I'll be attaching those charcoal legs here. And once I run it through the sewing machine, here's what it looks like and I will need to turn it inside and out and you can see how I have attached those charcoal legs on the underbelly. Alright, so here is what the body looks like all turned inside out and it looks a bit messy at the moment but it will come together at the end. So once this is done, I'll then make the armature and attach those resin pieces once the armature has been put through the body and then I'll fill it with polyfill uh, and then carry on from there. So as a dragon, I'll be making some wings and I'm not going to go through the whole thing because I want to do it as a separate tutorial. I haven't decided if I want it to be paid or not yet, um, So, but I'll let you know. So I'm using a fake suede for this and I'm just drawing out um, some wings patterns that I have done myself. And these wings will have an armature in the middle of them so they are poseable. Um, so here's what I have so far once all the pieces have been attached. And I'm just going to trim around the edges just to make it a bit more neater and a bit more uniform. Um, and then I can attach these wings to the body of the dragon. So once the wings have been threaded into the body, I can then start sewing things up. So I can uh, sew up the legs using a ladder stitch um, and then I will attach the fur bits to the resin pieces using a tacky fabric glue uh, and this holds really well to the resin. So here's a quick little look at uh, the dragon all sewn up and um, he hasn't had a trim yet so he's a bit floofy. Uh, but I will trim up the legs and a little bit of the body um, and lastly adding some bits of detail and just to bring out the, um, the structure of the wings on the dragon I'm just adding a bit of um, black fabric paint just to darken the edges. And here we have him! I really enjoy doing this Secret Santa. Uh, this is my second time in a row. Uh, if you're an art doll artist, uh, definitely check it out for next year's Secret Santa. It's on DeviantArt with Evie Cats. Um, and there are a lot of good artists participating, especially this year. Uh, 
Uh, I have a little bit of info uh, just regarding commissions for the rest of this year. They are currently closed, so all the last commissions have been taken up. Uh, I will have a couple of dolls going up for sale over the holiday period, but I will be taking a two week break, much needed two week break, and then back on the 8th of January starting up commissions again. So um, something to keep in mind if you're looking to commission one of my dolls, but there will be new ones available in my Etsy shop over that period. Also, I have a lot of people asking me um, where I sell these and the link is right there in the description. I have an Etsy shop, it's called Creatures of Nat, so you can just check that out. So, so here's a little quick unboxing of um, the doll that I received from Silverborn Designs. It's a cute little um, wolf creature. It's really great, really well made. Definitely check her out. She has some dolls for sale at the moment um, and I'm really happy with what I got. And I couldn't resist taking some quick snaps of this little critter too. So again, her name's Silverborn Designs. Check her out. She's from Australia as well. All right, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any requests, you can leave it in the comments down below. You can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Creatures of Nat. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.